Steve and Britt Elgar have a relationship that shows us the true meaning of effective communication and trust. KXLY4's outdoor storyteller Dan Barth explains. Imagine you're skiing. Now, close your eyes. You're totally blind. And remember, you're skiing. One more turn. It was one of the first things after I lost my vision that I really, really didn't want to give up. I didn't want to quit skiing because I'd been skiing since I was two years old. I really love skiing. I didn't want to give it up. Britt Elgar became blind five years ago when her optical nerves began to atrophy. And although her eyes no longer work on the slopes, the rest of her body functions unbelievably. It's easy for me doing this. All the responsibility is gone from me and I just have to pay attention to Steve's voice and enjoy skiing. The Steve she's referring to is her husband. They've been together for 16 years. Because Britt has to trust me totally. She's going fast. She's a very fast skier. There could be obstacles, and she trusts that I am not going to guide her into one. And you have to ask Britt, but I think she just relaxes and trusts me. He means everything to me. I, I, I can't even imagine if Steve disappeared. I am completely dependent on him. Dependent on Steve because without him, she'd have no one to guide her. I give her a voice to echolocate on. She can't see me, but she can hear my voice. That's how it works for Britt and Steve. Effective communication. And not just in the snow. There you go. People say, well, you guys spend all day at work together and all evening together. I, I don't know if I could do that. Well, we feel that we're really lucky. What better thing to do than spend all the time with the person you love? And that's what they do. Alone together. Turn after turn after turn. It's freedom. With Britt and Steve Elgar at Mount Schweitzer for Outdoor Storytellers, I'm Dan Barth, KXLY4. What an incredible story. Well, Britt actually asked Dan to try to snowboard blindfolded and ride listening to Steve. Well, Dan made two turns down that double diamond, and he fell. What an inspiration. What a good story Dan had.